This is Dan Abbott. I'm making this video for my class at Southern Maine Community College to show you a technique for scaling non-proportionally when you want to bring in some kind of reference to aid in drawing in AutoCAD or other programs that work like AutoCAD. What I'm going to do first is xref in an image file. And the image file is an image file of a floor plan that's taken off of taken off the internet. So I'll go to attach image I'll go and I'll find the image and it's in our applications folder under drawing exercises called Tropical Isle. So I'm just going to bring this in. I'm going to just stick it someplace on the screen. So I'm just going to put it here. Now what I want is to have this fit on this foundation. This foundation is 32 feet by 24 feet and this image was meant to be 32 feet by 24 feet. So to begin with I'm going to start by rotating it and I'll rotate it so that it's straight. And I'm going to rotate it. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to move it. I want to move this so that this point right here, as close as I can zoom to it, is at 0, comma 0, because that's my reference that I use for the foundation as well. So now everything can be taken off 0, comma 0. So I'll go to the, go to the uh, rotate function first. I'll select that image. I'll make base point be 0, comma 0. And I'll use reference as an option and go in and say starting from 0 comma 0 my reference angle goes out so that it lines up with the bottom edge and I want that to be 0 degrees so now I've rotated it so now it should be straight and aligned with my foundation also could use draw order and I'll pick this image and I'll just put it in the back so that I can see the uh, foundation through it so that looks pretty good as far as rotation goes now I'm going to scale it and I'll scale it from 0 comma 0 as well. I'll use the reference option once again starting at 0 comma 0. I'm just going to zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and get as close as possible to that corner right there and I'm going to say I want this to be 32 feet because that's the size that my foundation is. So I go in and I look down here and think, yeah, that's pretty good. Now I can use that as a reference for drawing by setting a snap increment that's logical but I also realize that the image itself is actually distorted. It wasn't scaled proportionally. In order to scale it proportionally, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to start by finding out what is a distance from 0, 0 to the intersection there. And I'm just going to make note of that distance and I'll um, take a look at that in a, in a minute. Actually, what I really want, let's just change our units. We're going to change our units to, to uh, decimal because it's going to be a lot easier to do the math this way. So again, I'll say, what's the distance from 0, comma 0 to, and I'll come up to here. Now it's going to give it to me in decimal form. I know I want this to be 24 feet. So I want it to come up to here. I can't stretch an image. This is why I'm not using the stretch command for this. So now that I have the existing length of that height, what I want to do is find a ratio between 288, which is what I want it to be, 24 feet, times 12 is 288. So I'm going to go and open up my calculator. I'm just going to use the Windows calculator in this case just because it's nice and simple. And I'm going to say what do I get when I divide 288 by and I'm going to go and copy. No, I'm not going to copy that. Let me start by highlighting that number right there. Right clicking, copying. Now I'll go back to my calculator. So I'm going to divide 288 by 278.9093 and I have copy that I have 1.032 so that's the ratio I want in my y-axis for this now in order to do that I'm gonna make a block out of the um, out of the uh, image that I just brought in so I use the block command and I'll give it the name image my pick points gonna be 0 comma 0 comma 0 for the base point um, the objects, I'll select the image object and pick OK. Now I'm going to erase that image. I'm going to insert the block that I just created called image. I'm going to put it at 0, 0, 0, but my scale, instead of being specified on the screen in uniform, is going to be that number, which is what I got from my calculator for the y-axis, one for the x-axis, pick OK. Now when I look 
and I'll do the draw order once again. Now if you take a look at this, this now sits on that foundation so that the overall width of the foundation of 24 is sitting right there. The overall length is 32 and so I have a non-proportional scaled image that I can use as a reference in creating the rest of the uh, walls on this. So the center wall and the support and etc. I can use this as a visual reference.